Hi guys, Hakuna Matata. This is our Maths Master Teacher at Vedantu. First of all, I re read all your comments and thank you so much for your love and support. And I really, really needed it uh, since it was my first session. I really appreciate it. And keep commenting, guys, what you like or don't like about, about the video so that we can grow together, right? I will strive to live up to your expectations. But first of all, let me take the names of the students who did who mentioned the right answer in the comment section? Panchula Roda, Siddhartha, Thanos Abhishek Sir fan, Priyanoj, Vishwa, congratulations to you guys. And for class 10 students, Khushi Bhatt, Alisha Ansari, Aryanvir Soni, and Khushi Sani, congratulations to you guys. You were the only ones with the right answer. All right, so let's begin with our session today. So today we are going to learn some amazing tricks to remember algebraic identities, right? Interesting, right? Yeah, so in an examination center, uh, you're like, oh no, I know how to solve this question, but shit, I can't remember the identity. It happens, right? So if this happens to you, then I guess this video is right for you. So in this video, I'm going to give you a super amazing trick through which you will be able to derive the identities right there in the examination center and you don't need to leave the question, right? So shuru karte. oh my God, so many identities, we are going to derive all these. Okay, so first thing that you have to remember here is that the number of terms in the in expansion will always be more than the degree. What does it mean? Let's take a look. Okay, so if I say I have A plus B whole square, so here what is the degree? 2 is the degree, right? So the number of terms in the expansion will be 3, okay, which is 2 plus 1. Okay, if I have a plus b cube, then there will be four terms in the expansion because the degree is 3, we will add 1 to the degree and those will be the number of terms in the expansion. So, now you know that if a plus b raised to power 4 is, then how many terms in the expansion? Mein? There will be five terms in the expansion, right? So, this, was, this is the thing you need to remember first. Now, let's take a look on this magical Pascal tri Pascal's triangle, right? So, let's see. Let me change the color. Okay. So, this is a Pascal's triangle. Pehle ye banana hai. Let's make a Pascal's triangle. So, first of all, you will write one on the top. Okay. So, then this is the first row. And for the second row, we will write one here in the start and in the end. You need to leave the gap in between, okay? So for the third row, you will write one here and then here you will write one plus one, which became two and then one at the end, okay? Now let's make the fourth row. So one here, then one plus two becomes three and then two plus one becomes three and then one here. All right, samajh mein aaya? Are you, are you uh, recognizing the pattern here? Okay, so one more row for you guys so that you understand better. We will write one here, then one plus three, four here, then three plus three, six here, then three plus one, four here, and in the end, we will write one. So this is how we make a Pascal's triangle. Now, since you know how to make a Pascal's triangle, you are going to derive these identities within one or two minutes. Let's see how do we do that. Okay, so let's start from the very first identity, which is A plus B whole square. Now here, since the degree is two, how many terms will be there? There will be three terms, one, two and three. Now what you have to do is you have to find the three terms in these Pascal's triangle. Like I can say this is row one, row two, row three, row four, five and so on, right? So now I want to find the row with three numbers. Now this is the row with three numbers, right? So these numbers basically indicates the coefficients that you have to write, okay? So one, two, one. So one here, two here, and pick one and write it here in the blank, okay? Now, the second step that you have to do is, that is, you have to take one variable first. Let's take this A first and write it 
here with the highest power which is 2. Okay. Similarly, you will pick the second variable b and put it in the last blank with the highest power. Okay, now as we go from here to here, what do we do? We will decrease the degree of a. Okay, so here there is a square. Here I will write a. And here it will be a raised to power 0 which is 1. Okay, so when we move from here to here, I will decrease the degree of b which is 2. So here I will write b and then b raised to power 0 which is 1. So I need not to write it. So become it becomes the formula but something is missing. The signs are missing. So if you have plus sign here, Okay, pay attention. If you have plus sign here, you have to put plus sign as it is. All right. So this becomes the formula number one, which is uh, a plus b a plus b whole square equals to a square plus two a b plus b square. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? So let's do another for uh, another entity, which is a minus b whole square. What's the difference? What's the difference here? Only one difference that it has minus sign in between. All the steps will be same. If you have derived a plus b square, it is very easy to derive a minus b square that you just have to make the signs alternative. Matlab plus sign, then minus sign and then plus sign again. Air becomes the identity for a minus b whole square. Okay. So easy. Okay. You just have to change the signs like plus, minus, plus, minus. Doesn't matter. Kitni terms hai. Just alternative signs put kar do. Theke? Clear? Okay. Aage badte hai. So let's now try to prove the identity number two, number three basically which is a plus b whole cube. You know, uh, it is very easy to remember a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square. Uh, these are the identities, the ones in the cubes like a cube plus b cube or a plus b whole cube in which the students got get confused, right? So, yahan par confusion na ho, to uske liye aap is triangle ko use kar sakte ho. Theke? To sochne ki zada zada uh, dimaag pe bojh dalne ki zurat nahi hai. Agar nahi yaad ho rahi bachcha, to you can... Just pick in, uh, you know, this Pascal triangle and solve it like this. Okay. So, let's see. Now, there are three. Uh, this degree is three. So, how many terms will be there? There will be four terms. Three plus one, right? So, I am writing here four blanks. One, two, three, four. Since there is plus sign between, so, sub, sub terms may plus sign. Aega. There will be plus sign in all the terms. Okay. So, now the next uh, step is that you have to see in the Pascal triangle where are the four numbers. So this is the row which contains four numbers and these four numbers are going to be the coefficients. So one, three, three and one. Clear? Easy? I know. Very easy. Now, what did I say? Pick the variable one, put it in the first blank with its higher power Okay, which is 3, then pick the variable 2, put it in the last blank with the highest power, which is 3. Okay, and then when we move from here to here, we are going to reduce the power of a. So here it is a cube, we can write it a square, then a, and then here a raised to power 0, which is 1. And similarly, when we move from here to here, I will write b cube, yaha pe b square, then I will write b, and then b raised to power 0, which is 1. Bangya formula. Easy, right? So, we can also uh, generalize it further. Okay. So, let's do it. Uh, a cube plus, if I take 3ab common, what do I get? A plus b in the bracket, right? And then b cube. So, this is your formula number 3, identity number 3, easy peasy. I know. Hai na? Ame, itna kuch learn karne ke liye bol dete hai na? Okay, so let's try to figure out how to solve a minus b whole cube. Now you tell me. Are you doing with me? Are you? Grab your notebooks and pens and mere se pehle batao mujhe iska answer kya aega. Chaldi chaldi se karo. Mere se pehle karo. Pada fat se. Okay, so here, since the only difference between this and this is the minus sign over here. Right? So what we will do, size steps same honge. So hum as it is lick dete hai terms ko. A cube, 3 A square B, 3 AB square, 
एंड देन बी क्यूब राइट राइट दीज आर द फोर टर्म्स है ना ये तो स्टेप सेम रहेगा दिस विल बी द सेम राइट नाउ द ओनली डिफरेंस इज बिट ओनली डिफरेंस इज द साइन राइट सो जस्ट पुट द ऑल्टरनेट साइन प्लस माइनस प्लस माइनस लेट सी वॉट डू वी गेट नाउ लेट सिंप्लीफाई इट ए क्यूब माइनस इफ आई टेक माइनस थ्री ए बी कॉमन वॉट डू आई गेट आई गेट ए माइनस बी इन द ब्रैकेट एंड माइनस बी क्यूब टेरा गोज यूर आइडेंटिटी नंबर फोर वेरी इजी you just need to derive one identity and you can pop to another identity within seconds all right easy i know okay to aage chale aage chale do aur reh gayi hai hamari two identities are still left that is a cube plus b cube let's see how to do this ab for deriving this identity i will be using the result of this identity that is a plus b whole cube Okay, so let me write it for you here. Let me write it for you. A plus B whole cube equals to a cube plus three AB, right? A plus B plus B cube. Okay, so let's derive the identity this. Okay, let me change the color for you guys. Okay, so let's do it. Um, red. Okay, so I need a cube and I need b cube. So what do I do? I write here a cube plus b cube. I will take I will uh, take these terms to the next side to the other side. What do I get? A plus b whole cube and the sign will change minus three a b into a plus b. Right? समझ आया यहाँ तक? Okay. Let's move forward. so i can take a plus b common right so what do i get a plus b whole square minus 3ab right let's solve the bracket now a plus b what do i get what do i get a square plus 2ab plus b square and minus 3ab don't forget to write it okay so final finally what are we getting we are getting a plus b अंदर क्या आ रहा है ए स्क्वेर नाउ टू ए बी एंड माइनस थ्री ए बी साइन ऑफ द ग्रेटर वन तो माइनस ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वेर एंड हेयर गोज योर आइडेंटिटी फॉर ए क्यू प्लस बी क्यू इजी पीजी राइट राइट इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो डो नॉट फोरगेट टू प्रेस द लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड सो दैट दे कैन ऑल्सो find the shortcut and do it like this in the examination all right so let's move let's move forward okay ek reh gayi hai bas only one is left that is a cube minus b cube a cube minus b cube fatafat -fat se karo mere se pehle kar do okay a cube minus b cube to iske liye i will be using the result of a minus b whole cube okay so let me take it uh let me write it for you a minus b whole cube equals to a cube minus 3ab into a minus b minus b cube right now what do i need what do i need i need a cube minus b cube so ye ra a cube ye ra b cube okay so i can write it as a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b whole cube and the sign changes to plus when it goes to the other side so a b into a minus b what can i take common i can take a minus b very right a minus b as common so bracket mein kya bacha a minus b whole square plus 3 ab right so let's solve the bracket a minus b and we get a minus Uh, sorry a square plus b square minus 2ab plus 3ab right now bigger bigger one the larger sign right so we will take a minus b and what do we get inside a square plus b square plus ab isn't it isn't it isn't it easy hai na हम ऐसे ही डरते रहते हैं झट से आपने सारी सॉल्व कर दिए देखो सो दिस वॉज ऑल देखो कितने आसानी से हमने इतनी सारी आइडेंटिटी सॉल्व कर दी दीज ऑल आइडेंटिटीज वी हैव डिराइव्ड इट 
win in minutes right once you practice it you can solve it in a minute and you need not to leave any question in the examination relating to the identities right there are i know there are other many identities as well but yahan par jahan pe confusion hai i hope it is clear right so do you like the video okay and i will be keep bringing some short tricks for you guys theek hai to help you out theek hai to make maths easier for you so bye bye this is your master teacher arsh signing off tada